Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss a four-year postdoc and this is a postdoc which is offered jointly by Germany and Israel. So essentially the institutes involved here are the Max Planck Society in Germany and the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel. Both of these are very famous, prestigious and well-known institutions. So let us take a closer look at this postdoc and how you can apply for this postdoc. Now essentially like I mentioned this postdoc is for a period of four years. So this is very interesting because most postdocs are for one year and two year periods and this postdoc offers you a relatively long time to do your research. And this postdoc lets you do research in physics, chemistry, math, computer science and earth science. So it's basically a science and technology focused fellowship but of course it's more toward the pure sciences. So essentially if you are able to mix some problems for example chemistry with computer science or earth science with math then I think you can come up with even better proposals for this particular fellowship. Now, like I mentioned before, both these are renowned institutions. So I know the Max Planck Institute because I spent some time during my Humboldt Fellowship at the Max Planck Institute in Stuttgart, Germany. So this was then called the Max Planck Institute of Metal Research. I think now they are more into materials research. But essentially the Max Planck Institutes are very prestigious institutions in Germany. So they have existed for a very long time. They are dedicated to science and interdisciplinary research. So essentially they often do research which cuts across disciplines and therefore they try to do pretty cutting edge work. And I think the Weizmann Institute of Science is also very famous from Israel and there are a lot of very prestigious people working there. So essentially both these countries, Germany and Israel are at the frontier of science and technology so you can benefit from this postdoc. Now essentially you need to spend two years in the Max Planck Institutes and two years at the Weizmann Institute of Science so that's a total of four years for this postdoc. Now the research which you should propose should be such that it uses the talents and the research facilities of both these institutes and also it should be something which is useful for the world in general. So again, public relevant contribution is important. You can propose any kind of in-depth research and complex experimentation. So one of the things I found in the Max Planck Institutes are that they are very well funded and they have a lot of good equipment for research and not only they have equipment for research but they have highly dedicated and qualified staff to maintain and look after these equipment. So this is sometimes different from a university where the graduate students have to take care of most of the experiments and so on. Here this institute essentially has dedicated staff who are highly qualified to take care of the equipment and they can also often help you with your experiments and so on. So it's possible to propose experimental research projects which are pretty deep and which are pretty intense if you are planning to do work at the Max Planck Institute. Now let's look at the salary. So essentially at the first year you get a salary of about 62,000 euro per year. In the second year you get a salary of about 68,000 euro per year. Beside this you get a stipend of 3,000 euro per year to attend conferences, workshops and seminars. So like I have mentioned many times in my channel, it's always a good idea to go to international conferences to present your work. It's a very good idea because you get to build a network. You also get to see the feedback your work is getting from people. So when you submit to journal, the feedback takes a lot of time to receive. It may take months if not years to get the reviews back from the journal. And also you do not always get the feedback which is very widespread. So you do not get to know things beyond the two or three referees concerned. And this may be a very narrow set of opinions in the field. Now beside this, some of the benefits are relocation costs are paid, health insurance is provided for, housing costs at the WIS in Israel can be somewhat mitigated so there is some benefit here. 
Now I should tell you that when I was in the Max Planck Institute in Stuttgart, they had this guest house. So this is something very nice about many of the German institutions that they have guest house which are very close to the institutes themselves. So these are of course very useful for any kind of visiting faculty or postdoc because they do not have to go through all the trouble of trying to get apartments for lease to sign it, sign the lease with landlords and so on. So those things are very problematic situations for many postdoc and visiting faculty. So now what do you need to do? You need to contact researchers at the MPG and WIS for collaborative projects where people from both universities can serve at host. So essentially I would say that you need to do some research during your literature survey phase of your PhD and keep an eye on people working at these institutes and if you are able to formulate some research problem which is able to capture the synergy of the people working at these institutes then of course you will be able to get a reply from them fast like I have mentioned many times people in various top institutes are inundated by emails from people around the world so if you have some prior knowledge if you have met any person beforehand in some conference it certainly helps your case now what you need to submit for this fellowship are your CV your list of publications any awards you have obtained and your research background and you need to submit three letters of references one of which has to be from your PhD supervisor so generally PhD supervisor is going to be somebody who is going to be important for you even a long time after you have finished your PhD. So this is something you need to keep in mind. Now beside this you also need a letter of support from the MPG and the WIS institutions and hosts. So if they want they can even write a joint letter that would also come out very well but if they want they can also write separate letters. Now you need to submit a two page research proposal outline as to what you are going to do there and beside this you need to give a breakup of the time taken at MPG and WIS where you are going to work, what you are going to do and so on. So again this is a pretty major contribution you are supposed to give four years of your time to this fellowship. So certainly you need to think about it and of course it's going to be competitive, it's going to be quite challenging also but the advantage is that you are able to work at some of these institutes which have a huge amount of facilities and equipment and then it's going to help you to craft out a pretty good research proposal and to write papers in high impact factor journals, top journals and so on. So it could be a pathway for you to join some other institutions or you never know you may get absorbed at one of the Max Planck institutes themselves or any of the institutions in the Israeli system or you may go off somewhere else and you may become a faculty or you may become a research scientist. So essentially I wanted to bring to your notice this very interesting fellowship. So we all know that Germans and Israeli people are very smart in technology so some of the greatest scientists of the world have had their input from both these cultures and so Hopefully you can take advantage of this fellowship and I wish you best of luck. So I'll try to give a link to this in the description box and I will see you in a video sometime soon. See you then.